In 2015, Muhammad Wilkerson was having his best season as a pro, emerging as one of the NFL's top defensive linemen. Jets bring a four-man rush, back to throw Mariota, under some pressure, scrambling left, caught! Muhammad Wilkerson, he's got another sack. What a great job by Muhammad Wilkerson, second sack here in the first half, 11 on the season. But in the Jets' final game of the season, disaster struck. If you've got an injured player, it's Muhammad Wilkerson. Muhammad Wilkerson is down, and he is in pain at the Jets' 17-yard line. And the last thing you want is for Muhammad Wilkerson to be injured maybe seriously on the last game of the season and unable to walk off the field under his own power is Muhammad Wilkerson. And it looks like he is not able to put much weight at all on his right leg. Wilkerson had suffered a broken leg and just like that, the pro bowler's career had changed its course. Wilkerson would make it back for the start of the 2016 season, but he struggled to regain his previous form. You make your first Pro Bowl, you have a dominating 12-sack campaign, and then unfortunately, you get hurt in Buffalo. Last year, Todd Bowles said you gutted it out. I look back at it, you know, it's, it's something that I'm pretty sure, you know, multiple guys went through in this league. It's to come back off the broken leg and, you know, feeling like I'm, you know, I'm ready to go. But like, you know, Coach said, you know, I gutted it out. You know, I just try to do the best I can. Uh, was up to my standards? No. But um, as I learned, you know, being, you know, in this league that it's going to take time. You know, nobody's you know, Superman going to come back, you know, and, and be 100 percent, you know, and be dominant. He didn't use his injury as an excuse. It was not 100 percent at all, but he's not going to sit out or take plays off. He's, you know, he's going to keep fighting through it. He toughed through it throughout the whole season. And this year, just when he appeared to be back to 100%, Wilkerson has had to fight through nagging injuries just to stay on the field. Did you ever have a why me moment? Because that would be natural for anybody to say, listen, I just played through it last year. Now I'm dealing with the shoulder, a toe, and a foot. At the end of the day, I just put my head down and keep going, keep driving. You know, uh, not gonna let little nagging injuries stop me. I'm gonna make sure I get treatment, you know, make sure I'm feeling the best I can come Sunday. He's dealing with more injuries this season, and uh, he's been able to tough it through, and uh, he maybe has to take a few practices off, but by the time game time comes, he's ready to go, and it's just really cool to see. Cutler drops back, here comes the blitz, throws left, it's deflected up in the air and intercepted, and Muhammad Wilkerson picks it off. The Jets have it at the Dolphin one-yard line. How have you been able to play at a high level still one not? participating in team drills on the practice field. It comes down to knowing my job on film and, and watching, you know, guys who was taking my part in practice and watching them and then, you know, putting myself in those shoes. In my 18 years of being around this league, of uh, coaching defensive linemen, I've never had anyone that has played at that level that's missed as much practice as he has. You know, he had a three-game stretch there, Miami, Atlanta, and Buffalo. He was outstanding. It's that toughness and selfless attitude that has earned Wilkerson his teammates' ultimate respect. We dreamed about these as little kids, baby! Yeah. We on this stage! You have taken on a huge leadership role. Why has that been important to you? I just felt that it was only right that I step up and become more of a vocal leader. I always felt like I was a leader on this team, but just had other guys here that was more vocal than me. But now that those guys are no longer here, I just felt, you know, I had to kind of step up and make sure, my, you know, my voice is heard more. We learned something about last week! Finish! We're going to finish today. He's the type of leader where when something needs to be said at the right time, he steps up and says it. And he makes it a team thing when he speaks. Like he's looking at every single person in the eyes. It's awesome. Dominate from start to finish. Everybody got to finish. Let's go. Let's go, man. Finish your three. One, two, three. Finish. Let's go.